Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. This is the first video of the Retrofit. So in this video we will use the Retrofit library to receive the data from the server and then we will assign that data to the recycler view. So first of all we have to open the browser and we have to open this library scare.github.io so here we need to add the dependency so scroll down and here we have dependency we need to copy this dependency and then we will open the android studio open build.gradle file and here we will paste that dependency so here i am going to use the version 2.9.0 so here i will type 2.9.0 and click on the sync now and then go back to browser and we need json converter library so here we have to copy this one and we will open the android studio duplicate this line and we will paste that library here okay now click on the sync now okay our library dependency is successfully added in our project so first step that we have to do we have to create the post class so let me open the data so here we have json placeholder and here if i open the post class we have to receive all the post from the server so here you can see we have object and inside the object we have arrays of the post we have to receive one by one and assign to the recycler view so for this post we have to create the model class how we can create the model class here we have json schema to pojo class we simply need to add the json format here and we will generate the model class so let me copy all the json data so here i will select control a control c and open the json schema to pojo and here i will paste that data so make sure you have removed the comment co comment data so here you can see we have commented some lines so i have to remove it okay now open the android studio here we need to copy the package and open over json schema to pojo and here we will paste that okay now here we need to type the class of this data so i am going to call it post and here we have to select this data json and converter library is json okay now click on the zip it will generate the file so here we have to download it and open that file and let me extract the file so here you can see we have post.java class this is the best and easy way to create the model class for the json data so here we have to extract on the desktop so i will copy that file okay now i will paste that file inside this package so i will select it here and i will simply paste it here okay now if it will show the error of this generated you simply remove need to remove it and open the package and also you have to remove it so over post class is automatically generated we haven't need to create anything here okay now we need to create the package for the retrofit so here i will create new and select the package i will simply call it retrofit okay so first step that we have to do we have to create the service api so let me right click here new and select the java class and we have to select the interface make sure you have select the interface so here i will select the service api so i will simply call it service api and click okay okay here we need to call a method so here i will select the call so make sure you have select the retrofit too and then we have to call here list of that particular post so here i will pass here post so make sure you have select this one and here we type the name of the method so here let's say i type here get all post and i will simply create this method here okay now we have to annotate it so how we can do it and here we have to type here get and here we have to pass here post so let me show you why i am going to add here post okay so if i open the browser so let me show the json data so here you can see we have slash post so this is the base url so without url we have to paste that one so that's why i am adding the post okay so this is our base url so i will copy it and i will go to 
android studio so now i will create the retrofit instance so here i will right click new and select java class so i will call it retrofit instance so you can keep any spellings so now we have to create the uh, variable so here i will create the static and i will call it retrofit and we need to create the retrofit object okay now we need to create the static public static and here we need to get the instance of the retrofit so i will create the retrofit get retrofit and here we have to check if retrofit equal to null then we have to initialize the retrofit because we have a need to get the null retrofit so here we will create the retrofit retrofit equal to new retrofit dot builder so now we need to call the method base url so here we will pass the base url at the top we will initialize it pass here public static final string so i will pass here enter and here we need to create the base url okay now here we have base url so it should be inside the inverted comma so make sure you have added the slash otherwise might be chances your application will crash so add the slash at the end okay now here i will pass here base url okay now i will call the second method that is add converter factory so here i will call json converter factory dot create okay now we will call finally build okay now outside of this if condition we will simply return the retrofit like that okay so our retrofit instance is ready so now we need to go to main activity and here we need to create the recycler view so let me create the recycler view so here we have text views just need to remove the text view so here i will create the recycler view that is match parent match parent and give the id so i will simply call it recycler view and I just need to close it and go to design and i will add the constraint from all side okay constraint are ready so now we need to initialize the recycler view so i will simply call it recycler view recycler view and recycler view equal to find view by id r dot id dot recycler view recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager okay now here i will pass the context like that okay now we need to get the data from the api so how we can call it now we will call the service api so here we will create the service api equal to retrofit instance dot here we will call the get retrofit dot we will call the create method so here we have to pass the service class so here i will type service api dot class okay now we need to call the method call so here we need to create the call method and then we make sure you have select the call from the retrofit so here i will select the call so here we have retrofit call so now we have to call the method list and then we have to type the list of the post so here i put the post now we have to call it call and then we have to call the service api dot we have to get all the apis okay so now we need to call this method call dot in queue and here we call this method new callback method like that okay now first put a semicolon here if you did not find the semicolon okay now here we need to show the error so you can also show toast message or you can simply call log d and here you can pass here t dot get localized message and here you can put inverted commas okay now here you can check if response dot is successful mean if it is not successful here we have to put here not okay you can simply return it okay now inside the else condition you have to assign the list so at the top i will create the list so here i have to create the list of the post so let me create the post and here we have post list 
okay now here we have to initialize the list so list post equal to new array list like that now here we have to initialize that list so here i will call list equal to response dot body okay so now we have to create the adapter for the recycler view so our data is successfully read it from the database okay now we have to create add the permission so at the top here we will create the users permission so internet and then again users permission and here we will create the network state like that okay now we need to create the recycler view so our data is successfully created i mean we have successfully read the data so now we need to assign the data so here i right click new and select the adapter so here i will call recycler view post adapter and here we need to extend it with adapter so here i will call adapter and here we have to call recycler view post adapter dot my view holder so here i will press alt enter to implement the method and press ok so again i will press here alt enter to create the view holder class and again press alt enter to make implement this method sorry extend with this and again we have to create the method that is constructor okay now here we have to receive the list of the recycler view data so here i will create the list and that list is from post okay so here i will call it list and now we need to get the context so here i will get the context okay so here i will press alt enter to select the constructor and select both field like that okay now we need to create layout for the recycler view so here we have to create the view view equal to layout inflator dot from and here we need to pass the parent dot get context and dot inflate r dot layout dot here we have to create the single view single post so i will call it single post and next parameter is parent and the final we will pass here false like that and here we have to return new my view holder and here we will pass the view okay now we need to create this layout so here i will select this one and press alt enter to create this class sorry it's not xml okay now here i will simply go to text and here i need to change the constraint layout into card so here i will select the card view so now we need to select view text view so go to design and here i will select a text view so let me open the database sorry over json so we have user id body etc so first of all i will create the user id text view so here i will select this one let me add a constraint layout inside this text view so it's easy to design so match parent match parent and here inside this we will add the text view and here we need to give the id so i will select the user id so i will add the constraint like that okay now again i will select the text view okay now i added the constraint okay now our layout is ready we have to change the height so here i will select the wrap content and that's it now we have to add the constraint from the bottom so here i select the constraint from the bottom and select a margin 16 db okay and inside the card view i will select a simple margin that is 10 db enough okay now go to recycle view adapter and here we have to select the list dot size and now we need to initialize all the text view so here i will create the text view first one is the user id so here i will select the user id then we have simple id then we have title then we have body okay now we need to initialize inside the constructor so here user id equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot user id 
now we will duplicate this line four times and we will paste the id here like that okay now we will assign all the data so here we call holder dot user id and dot set text and here i will pass list dot get and here i will pass the position dot get user id and i will duplicate this line four times and here we have to add the string because this is in string form for now it's in text okay so now we have to get this id so here i will simply pass the id and here we have to change the id dot get id and now we have to change this into title so here i will put the title so dot get title so now here we have to pass your body and here i will type the body okay so inside the main activity here we need to initialize the recycler view adapter so here i will call the recycler view adapter so i will simply call it adapter and now we need to initialize this recycler view adapter so recycler view adapter equal to new recycler view adapter and then here we have to pass the list so here i will pass the post list and the next parameter is over main activity context so here i will pass the context okay now recycler view dot set adapter so here i will pass the adapter that's it okay now we will run the application and let's see either it's load the data from the server or not okay our application successfully running so here you can see we have loaded the data from the database you can see here we have all the files so in the next video we will set the click listener on this recycler view items and we will load the data according to the post so let me show the demo so here we have one post we will we also have comments according to every post so let me go back to our json placeholder so here you can see we have post and every post we have to select the one post post number one and we have to select the comments of that particular post so if we change it let me show the comments you can see here we have comments of the first post if i change it into second you can see here we have comments of the second post so we will set a click listener on the items of every post and get the comments of particular post so see you next video take care